Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we're going to put together a hamper and this will make an ideal Christmas present. Now the contents that I'm using are going to be based around Prosecco but you can actually use them for, um, you can put anything in really. It's just to give you an idea, pamper hampers are really really nice ideas especially if there's someone that's got everything and you just don't really know what to buy them. You can collect some bits and pieces and put them together. You can also do food hampers as well. You can do hampers for men, children, you can do new babies, you could maybe put some new baby stuff in. If someone's expecting a baby after Christmas you could put some kind of neutral baby things if you're not sure you know what they're having. The list really is endless. Now the hamper that I'm actually using came from Dunelm. These, I found, I've looked around at the hampers and I found that the quality and the price, this is probably the best um, that you can find. Now, I don't like the um, the shred inside. It's like um, a wood kind of sawdusty shred. So I'm going to exchange that for some softer and um, shredded tissue. So I think that just looks a little bit nicer. You can also chop and change the cellophane, but you do get everything that you need within the kit. So you don't need to change anything. I'm just being a little bit picky. Now, we're also going to put these really, really cool Prosecco socks inside. Now, I'm going to drop the link for these in the description down below in case you know someone that loves Prosecco and they might want one of these pairs of socks for Christmas, especially if they love pink as well. Now, they come in these like little cupcake cases and they come wrapped up with a bit of ribbon on the top. But let's just take them out and show you. So they're really fluffy socks and we're just going to open them up. And at the bottom, it says, bring me Prosecco. So let's put them like that and it will make more sense. On one foot, if you can read this, bring me Prosecco. So that's on the, the base of the foot there. So you can see it I and mean, put your feet up and you've got your, um, got your instructions. They feel really super soft as well. So um, if, as I say, if you do want those, then do check out uh, the description uh, down below and you can find out where to get them from. So I'm going to pop a pack of those in and I'll put these to one side for now. I am going to be giving the other packs away so keep an eye out till the end of the video and um, there'll be more details for that. Right so this is the hamper that I'm using. Denelm have all sorts of different colours. This is the one that's more of a grey tone. It says Willow Hamper in grey. It's got cellophane straw and ribbon inside. So as you can see you have got everything in there. I'm just being picky. Um, so what I'm going to do is you just open it up and we'll start and fill it. So in the pack you get one of these cellophane bags or um some cellophane to wrap it if I can get in it here and these are great let me just open it if you haven't got a big roll because sometimes the cellophane that you buy from normal shops they're not long enough to go around and it just won't get around but I've got a huge roll or a long roll here of plain cellophane and this came from the London No Craft Shop this cost me six pounds and that is far wide enough we're absolutely fine so i'm going to cover it in that you can also get christmas cello wrap you can get cello wrap that's different colors to match your contents but if you just wanted to use what comes with the, the the hamper there then this is absolutely fine it is a little bit thinner but it will do the job you also get one of the pull bows if you haven't seen these before you can order these online and these are the type of bows that florists use so if you haven't seen them i will show you you just open them out. I'm not using this on this project, but I do want to show you. And then the bottom part there where the um, the opening is, you just take that and you hold that with your thumb and your finger. And then you put these two fingers like that and you just push it up. And that makes the bow. And then these end bits here, you just tie that around like that. It's twizzling all around. I generally do a double knot. And then you've got a nice long bit of ribbon here, a couple of bits of ribbon to tie around what you need to tie them around. And you can also curl these bottom bits as well. So I will save those because I will use them on something else. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to replace it with something else. Right, so I'm just going to give you a little tip. I've got some pink shredded paper here that I think looks far better with this basket colour. If you haven't got that much um, shred to put in, or if you don't have any at all, you can also use tissue paper. Now I'm gonna use white. Pink would be cool if you've got that, but I've got white to hand, and you won't see this underneath. So you just get it, 
and you scrunch it in the bottom and this will just give it a little bit more height and then I'll put the this over the top and that just brings the whole lot just up slightly now because we're working around the Prosecco socks that was kind of the main, main inspiration for this we're going on a pink theme so it's pink that I want to to use now because this is for someone over 18 we are going to add some Prosecco items so a good tip is to put larger things in the middle at the back and put those in first that's a really good tip so, so so work from the middle and kind of work down to the front that's the best way to go so if you're doing anything whether it's um, a food hamper anything like that get something tall at the back i've also got one of these cups this came from b&m it says shush there's prosecco in here so again it's nice and glittery i'm going to put that to one side and what i do when i'm doing this is i chop and change it once i put them in kind of move them around so because you're not sticking them in you can just sort of chop and change and do whatever here we've got a diary this is a 2020 diary this came from the range and i just thought that was nice i know it's not fully pink it's got the pink colors in and i thought this pen was super cute and that would look really nice with it so pop that there then we've got some nivea lip balms again they come in a really cute tin so you could use that tin um, afterwards we'll put that there for now I might move that I might put that on the side then we've got a face mask there again with the pink kind of theme and we've got some uh, rose water there now I'm going to reach over and grab the Prosecco socks and they're going to go right down the middle there and they look really cute if you've got like some chocolates or anything like that you could maybe sprinkle a few chocolates in that would look really sweet also I want to show you this in B&M if um the person doesn't drink it doesn't matter about the Prosecco socks you don't drink those but don't obviously put the um put the the booze in at the back there I think this is really cool it's a fragranced candle and it's pink peony this came from B&M but it comes on this really cool stand like a gold stand and it smells lovely I really like the smell of the peony candles so you could replace the um the bottle of Prosecco with that that would be really cool so we're going to now wrap and put the cellophane over the top right, I've moved the camera up so you can see a little bit better so you get your roll of cello wrap and you want to cut off more than you think you need because you can't stick it back on, but you can always cut it off. So you start to roll it out like this. Don't be afraid of it, just go for it. Get your hamper in the middle and you want to bring up this part and you just need to pull it and kind of measure it so it comes up a little bit higher than you think you need it. I'm gonna pull this part up as well. But because it's it's um, clear, it's really nice because you can see through. So I'm just going to cut this top part now. Right, so now we're going to gather it up together. I've got myself a piece of curling ribbon, but if you are using the bow that comes with the pack, you get extra little spare bits at the bottom there. So what I do is I cut a piece of that off and use that to do this next part. But because I'm not using red, I'm going to use a piece of the pink curling ribbon. So what you do is you gather... The, um, the front of the back of the fellow wrap and you want it sort of central and then you just start by sort of scrunching it together now if you can if it's big enough so I would recommend to try and pull your side bits in and scoop them up but if it's not big enough then I always tape them so don't worry about them at the minute but I like to try and curl them in without tape if I can so sorry if it's a bit crackly you just grab it there and you just scrunch it. Some people do them kind of in the middle and some people do them so they're at the back. So you just do that there and then you get your piece of curling ribbon. And I'm kind of standing at a funny angle here because I've got the tripod in the way but it should still be fine. And you just tie it like that just in a double knot. And then what I would recommend doing is taking these side bits and neatening them. If it wasn't such a wide object, you could curl them and tuck them in without doing this. But because it's quite wide and wider than the cello wrap, you will need to sort of adjust it a little bit. And all I do is just get myself a little bit of tape and just sort of fold these bits in and stick those down. 
Right, now I'm going to show you what to do with this top part. As you can see, um, some parts are a little bit flat, and I don't think they look right when they're flat. So what I would do is I would straighten it up, and you want to cut at an angle. So don't cut it across like that. You want to cut up at an angle. So I just get a part here and just cut it up. So I think it looks better if it's if it's kind of going upwards. So just trim it off and go up like that. I don't know if you can see what I mean. I just think it looks it looks a lot nicer. I hope that you can kind of see that on the on the camera. Now you can see this piece of curling ribbon here. And what you do with this bit is you get a pair of scissors between your fingers. And you want to get it the natural way that the ribbon wants to bend. And you just grab it like that and you just curl it. Now what also looks nice is if you just put loads of this on. That looks really pretty. Just put like a big mound of it on and just curl it all up. That looks really cute. Um, let me show you what the bow would look like. I've got a gold one here, which I think is really nice. I bought these from the, uh, the Land of No Craft Shop. So if you do that, I think that looks really pretty in itself can you see let's just pull it back a bit so they look really nice a pink bow would look pretty cool on there now i didn't want to use a pink bow one of these bows so what i've done is i've made this cute little display here these are really 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 easy to make i'm just going to stick that on all i did i got some of these i think i bought these from wilkinson's last year put this at the back got a piece cut a piece out of this with a flower put that together and then I just looped over some of this four times we've done this in a previous video so you've probably seen it before and then I just tied it at the bottom and literally just stuck it all together with some of this florist tape at the bottom so I just thought that was dead cute and I haven't got any pink although I would have used pink if I had it um, but I think the gold looks quite cute because it is Christmas so I think that looks nice anyway and I'm just going to use some of this curling ribbon just to attach it. And I did use some florist's wire as well, um, just to hold it all together and sort of bound it round. So I'm just going to fasten this now. I'm going to do it off camera because it might be a bit rustly. And then I'll show you the next bit and show you when it's done. Right, there we go. That's it all done. I really, really love it. And I don't know about you, but I would love to receive something like that um, for Christmas. We could do a birthday present or anything like that. So let me tell you about these socks. I'm going to give some of these socks away. I think I've got three packs um, to give away because I've just opened one. So I've got a couple there. What I want you to do is in the comments down below, I want you to do to write hashtag Prosecco socks. And I want you to tell me who you would give these to for Christmas. So um, that's all you've got to do. And I'll just pick a winner. Um, random winner and I'll just announce it in one of my videos it's just as simple as that but they're dead soft and don't remember if you do want to buy these yourself if you know anybody I'm going to put the link and all the details in the description to this video and I'll also put it in the comments as well at the top just in case you miss it in the description so go and have a look because they're dead soft they'll make fantastic presents and that's it so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video I hope it inspired you to have a go and I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon you take care bye for now